here is a scholarship opportunity in the Netherlands that is going to cover your full tuition fee and living costs. That's not all. It is also going to cover your visa cost, resident permit, health insurance and liability insurance for your stay in the Netherlands. And this scholarship is the Radbot Encouragement Scholarship available for applicants from non-EU or EEA countries. That is the European Union and the European Economic Area countries. Basically, non-European countries. And this scholarship is for those who would be applying for one of their English taught master's program. Like I said in the introduction, the scholarship is going to cover the full tuition fee and living cost of 11,520 euro as said by the IND, the Dutch Immigration and Naturalization Service for 2023 to 2024 for the duration of the master's program. These are the departments or majors. For the year 2024-2025, a total of 13 scholarships will be available for Faculty of Arts 1 right down to Faculty of Social Science. The only faculty that has more slots available is the Medical Science Faculty faculty with eight slots available for application now when applying for this scholarship it is important to take note of this in a situation where you are selected or admitted into a two-year master's program it is important to note that your performance will be the only guaranteeing factor that will make them sponsor you for another year of your master's program that is in a situation where you are doing a two years master degree so you would have the scholarship for one year of studies and then for the second year of your master's degree program if you pass all the courses in your first year of studies then they would consider sponsoring you with a scholarship for the next academic year it has been indicated here you need to pass all courses in the first year and also the Radboard encouragement scholarship cannot be combined with a Fulbright Radboard scholarship or NL scholarship but you can apply for more than one scholarship only one will be granted it is important to know that the Fulbright Radboard scholarship is offered to US citizens so this is for people from the United States why the NL scholarship is for everyone I have another video on the channel on the NL scholarship if you want to watch you can go ahead and watch it I'll provide a link up in the description you can click it and watch it if you decide to apply to all the three scholarship you will be granted scholarship only for one you cannot have more than one scholarship as it is indicated here you can only apply for either the Radboard encouragement scholarship or the partial Radboard scholarship program it is not possible to apply for both of the scholarship now let's look at the type it says it is a scholarship and eligible countries are non-eu countries duration nominal duration of your master so if you have a one year master's degree they will sponsor you for one year if you have a two years master's degree they would sponsor you for two years but they would have to examine your first year of studies grades to decide on sponsoring you for the second year and then the coverage is full and these are the faculties it is important to know that you can only apply to one of the majors in these faculties what are the conditions for this scholarship these are the eligibility conditions this scholarship is only for those who do not own an EU passport and then you are not eligible for a lower tuition fee for other reasons do not have sufficient fund or access to grant or loans to finance your studies at Radboud University now it is important to note that this scholarship is at Radboud University that in Holland. You can equally apply if you have already obtained a bachelor's degree or you are at the point of obtaining your bachelor's degree. And you must also make sure that you have not yet obtained any degree in the Netherlands. So this scholarship is mainly for those who've never studied in the Netherlands. But in case you had once done an exchange program in the Netherlands, you are still eligible to apply for the scholarship. You must also make sure you meet the English language requirements we will look at the English language requirements soon and then you must make sure you are fully admitted to an English taught master's degree program starting in September 2024 and make sure you are eligible to apply for a visa to study in the Netherlands how do we go about applying for this scholarship it says you can apply by indicating during your application for admission for a master's program in the OSIRIS application system so all you need to do is 
click on this link once you are on this page you should come to application procedure for international previous education click on this link it will take you to this page and then it says submit an enrollment application in study link this is the official link to apply to study in any university in the Netherlands so if you click on this link it will take you to the study link here you would have to create a username and password if it is the first time that you are visiting the website it means you do not yet have a username and a password you would have to create one but if you had once applied to any university in the Netherlands then you have to just log in with your username and password and then fill up the application let's go back on this page you have all the documents that you will need to upload it says here you will be asked to upload a valid can passport showing your personal details page your bachelor's degree or diploma or its equivalent an official transcript of bachelor's degree or its equivalent a sworn translation of diploma and transcript in case it is not in english so it can either be in dutch english or german and then course description for unfinished courses course description for finished courses this applies for those who are still studying and they would graduate in the near future you'd equally have to provide a personal statement or letter of motivation depending on the program your personal statement should contain at least a brief description of why you have chosen the specific masters and how it fits to your previous education so you would have to read the information here and then respond it is very important this is a key document personal statement as far as any scholarship in any part of the world is concerned take your time and write it you do not need to write a personal statement in a hurry take your time and write your personal statement in a convincing manner that will cause them to offer you the scholarship and then you would equally provide reference letters they say a reference letter is required if you are applying for a scholarship or a selective master's program and will be asked to upload them to a series application please note that this must be signed and stamped or signed on an official letterhead which means you would have to ask your university your previous university to use their university letterhead when writing you a reference letter reference letter is simply a letter of recommendation it is important to take note of this they say a reference letter is not required for non-selective program however it is still possible to upload one to your application if you wish so you have to know if you are applying for a non-selective program or for a selective program and then you would have to provide an overview of your education experience in a chronological manner information about your education knowledge experience acquired during internship training or work for example a resume so you have to provide a resume and then english language certificate you are allowed to apply without a language certificate however if you are admitted to the program and a language certificate is listed as a requirement in your admission email you will be required to provide proof of proficiency before the enrollment deadline if you can prove english proficiency through your previous education a certificate is not required visit the language requirement page for full details for those who did their studies let's say their bachelor's degree in english they can provide a certificate of english proficiency from their university indicating that english was the medium of instruction they will not need to provide any IELTS or TOEFL test score the next one is the handling fee they say non-eu eea applicants are required to pay a handling fee before the application can be processed so you need to verify the handling fee and know the amount and then you can go ahead and read step three about the admission decision but we will go back and continue with how to apply so we've already said you will need to upload two reference letters, a curriculum vitae and a motivation letter. Now, this one is very important. The selection for the scholarship and admission to the master's program are two separate process. You must apply to gain admission to the master's program and also apply for the scholarship. They say here, admission to the master's program does not imply selection for the scholarship. It is very important for you to take note of that. Please note that applicants for the Radbot Encouragement Scholarship are not automatically waived from having to pay the handling fee for the master's application once you enroll at Radbot School University the handling fee will be refunded to you which means you will pay and then once you are enrolled to the university they will pay the handling fee so pay the handling fee and then make sure you succeed in the scholarship application deadline they say you must have submitted your application to the online or series application system on 31st January 2024 before midnight as the latest 
and then your OSIRIS application will be checked by Radboard University Student Admission Office and sent back to you for payment of the handling fee as well as for any document in your application that may be incorrect or illegible or missing. You need to resubmit your application as soon as possible. Then your application needs to be completed by February 14. So in case you are not able to send all the required document or there is a problem with your documents by January 31st, you will still have until the 14th of February to send any missing document but make sure you send in the documents by the 31st of January and then they would give you until the 14th of February to meet up with any missing document and then we recommend you hand in proof of English proficiency before the 14th of February so you have to know that you will need to provide an English proficiency and the deadline will be the 14th of February 2024 final decision about your application for the scholarship will be by mid april 2024 and then there is the selection criteria here it says outstanding results in your present field of study for example through great test score publications relevance of your previous degree to the master's program you are applying to the ranking of the university where you obtained your previous degree so if your university has a high standing and international standing in the world you have a greater chance of getting the scholarship and then this one ambition it has to do with your motivation this is a very important document another important document is your reference letter your motivation for applying for the scholarship is a key to you getting the scholarship and what your recommenders will write about you is equally a key that will enable you get the scholarship and then another one motivation letter is also a very important document and they have a format here that you must use this is the format and these are the questions that must be answered it is very important that you answer these questions when writing your motivation for the scholarship That being said guys, this is another great opportunity for you to study at Radboud University in the Netherlands. I have other scholarship videos in the Netherlands on the channel. You might want to equally check them from other universities and maybe try your luck by applying to many other universities in the Netherlands if you think you really want to study in the Netherlands. It is a great country in Europe and you would have access to other European stocks countries if you succeed in getting this scholarship to study in the netherlands guys if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe and i will see you in the next one Bye bye